Hello guys and girls, welcome back. This is State Camping, playing some Banjo-Kazooie. And uh, I'm gonna try to do this uh, all with um, not being live commentary. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Like in the comments down below if you like it. It's a little different. Um, and I'm gonna try to play it all the way through because I've never beaten this one yet. I did play these as uh, a little kid, but I haven't. Or, well, I played them as a little kid, but whatever. I've never beaten them, and uh, I kind of want to be beat them. Uh, I like number two better, Banjo uh, Tooie, uh, which we will end up playing. I just want to beat this one first. Uh, talking through the intro. There is some lag uh, you will see here in a bit after the intro. Um, so pretty much, uh, I can't really tell you any about the game. Uh, uh, this isn't going to be one of those playthroughs that, you know, I know everything about the game, why it's there, and every name and character and everything. This is just going to be like, if you played it from the start, and you, um, from back in the day, playing all the old consoles and stuff, and, uh, when you open it up and there wasn't any YouTube, this is how it's going to be. Uh, because that's what I want to do. It's simple, but have fun and enjoy. All the characters talk, um... Not normal, I guess. I guess it's normal for Banjo. But, uh, it's just kind of wah, 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 Every character sounds like how they would sound, so. So you don't really need to see all this, but whatever. And I did start on a new profile, as you saw at the beginning, I did, uh, delete, uh, an old profile I had, and then, um, I started a new one. So that's Banjo, right there. And that's Kazooie. And there's the witch, as you've seen. As you've seen. Um, So guys, let's get started. This world here, or this little bit here, is uh, the training world, uh, and we can go around and uh, find this little mole guy's hole and uh, talk to him and he'll teach us how to do it. If you guys never played the game before, I uh, highly suggest you guys do that. Um, but if you have and you played it in the old days or whatever, pretty much... Uh, to crouch or to do a lot of things in the game is to hold R or L button and that's uh, R or L triggers um, they do the same thing they're both crouch and then A is jump X is normally attack um, I think B is another attack or something or I, I don't know um, and uh, he's out through certain certain levels out through the game. We'll teach you certain moves that you need to do. Um, should be fun. Hope you enjoy. 
Uh, I, I skipped all the part because I know how to play the game. Some moves you can't do right away. Just the basic moves he'll teach you uh, through all of these ones. And if you talk to this guy, as I do right now, somewhere around here, there is a little bit lag, so when I jump uh, a little second after, um, I think it might just be this video. I don't know. I, um, I did a whole clump of these videos at once. And if you skip it, he'll just say, ah, I thought you wanted to skip it, you know, pretty much, if you read that. Um, so this spot here is where you learn how to do a backflip. And I don't go to all the spots here, but uh, each spot's all around, you know, very simple. It's just how to attack, how to do certain rolls, how to jump and beat, attack. Um, so you run and you hit X, you roll into someone. Um, as you'll see in uh, all of the playthrough of this, I have a little trouble of picking up items sometimes. You know, I run around them because I don't, I, I don't know. It's difficult for me. Um, now a lot of people have difficult with swimming, but it kind of makes sense. I don't know if it's the same in the second one, but um. Think of it as flying a, an airplane. Some people say it's, um, uh, whatever it's called. I don't know. Uh, but these guys give you extra lives if you fill up the whole thing. These guys give you extra lives just by themselves. Or, I guess, the honeycomb things, I think they actually give you an extra, like, Honeycomb. So that's the jump move or jump attack. That's um, you jump and then uh, I believe you hit X or B. X or B is pretty much all you need to know. Um, still getting over the cold, guys. So sorry about that. Um, but as I said, um, uh, each little spot up here, like up there where you see that cabbage or whatever flying up there um, that's a where you get the jump move I don't go around every spot but pretty much as you see right there and right down there is where you learn all the attacks and stuff you won't learn every move because this next um, this first level is actually uh, I, I guess you could say it's the first training level, but, um, well, you'll, you'll see. Now, this won't be a, um, this won't be a, you know, um, no, I can't think. For some reason, I always start what I'm going to say, and I can't think. Uh, th this won't be a, uh, just get the game done glitches and you know it won't be a fast playthrough I'll just play it as fast as I can with all the things I know how to do everything's pretty much straightforward you know it should not take very long playing this game uh, I can only record at certain times of the day you know all out through the week but you know. So here's once you enter the uh, witch's head. Uh, here's the first puzzle piece up here. Just jump up here and you can see it. You get it. Do a little dance. Now the puzzle pieces in this game, uh, if you played nut and bolts, is completely different. I didn't play nuts and bolts all too much. I only play a little bit, built a little thing. But um. This, this one is different from number two, as a lot of things are different from one and twos of any game. But uh, this one, so you pretty much walk up to a platform like this, and you just hit A on it. Well, once you walk up to it, you, your character zooms up, and then you just hit A on it, and it fills in the empty spaces. And that's all you have to do. And number two, it's a little bit different. You, uh, you have to actually fit the pieces in where they go. 
So that's all. That's all the difference for this part of it, anyways. For uh, number one and two, um, these are some pretty fun games. Uh, you may not think they're fun if you were playing them now and you're young now, but if you grew up with them, they were pretty fun. So there's the first level right there, and th you can consider it a uh, training level, I guess. Um, because it does teach you a little bit, you know, it teach you more than most of the levels would, and there's the first of everything in here, um, there's the first mumbo jumbo in here, there's the first, um, uh, there's not really a boss, but, um, so these are music notes, I'll tell you down here, when you first pick everything up, it'll tell you. As you can see, um, there's a hundred of them in each level. They're normally in groups, so it's not that hard to collect them. You think a hundred is a lot, but obviously here there's three of them, and there's so many. There's, what, seven on the bridge, and there's another three in that hole down there. Swimming in this game can be difficult, um, as you will see later in my videos. But, uh, but just swim in a straight line, it's easy, you know, whatever, it, everything's easy when you're doing a straight line. Don't want to touch this guy, I'm trying to walk around him. Didn't really work, but I had to fly around him. This guy will give you health, just break him open. I believe later, later in the games, or, uh, later in the game, um, they do have bees on them and they do attack you. I do, I, I know in number two, not all of them have bees, but some of them attack you. Um, yeah. This little area here, you can get, let's see, one, uh, two, three. Three, uh, puzzle pieces, jiggies, as you call them. Uh, you could actually do them all right here. You don't have to go up and leave and come back. So here's one. There's ten of them in a the world, as he says. Uh, some of them could be quite difficult. Some of them are really easy, like these, these group here. At this level, like I said, is... Should, you know, breeze right through it. No difficult at all. You know, um, here you could talk to this guy now, but uh, I I thought the button was B, and uh, I hit everything but X. The button is X. You walk up to it, you hit X. He talks to you, tells you something. That's a mumbo jumbo's head. Uh, Token. This you can't do right now because it's uh, you have to get the the slam, which is up on a hill somewhere. Uh, I believe by Mumble Jumbo's hut might be different. Um, now the hut is right this way over here. There's a few over here. Um, This level is actually pretty simple. There's one underneath there. And I believe this guy you need to get uh, uh, five of them to complete. There's actually a mole up there that you can go talk to. And he'll teach you. I don't know his name. But uh, he teaches you things. There's one right here, but I'm going to talk to this guy first. And he will also fill your lives up and, and um, probably your eggs. Um, I'm not sure. He'll teach you something and then he'll fill your life up. And number two, it's a different guy, but still a mole. And uh, this is probably the easiest puzzle piece you can get in the game. 
better than the first one. As you can see here, I have difficult picking things up, and I don't know why. Probably weird depth perception. These guys, there's a few of these guys on each level. Uh, the second one, I believe, uh, you pick them up in each world, and uh, and then they add another jiggy to each. Once you collect all of them, uh, like they have these pots and stuff, and you collect all of them that needs to be collected in there, and then you get a jiggy. Um, and I think that's added to the um, the hub world. This one is different. You get uh, one. It, it, it adds the ten. You know, it's one of the ten in the, the world. So if you like walking around and you know where one of those guys are, and you have nine out of uh, ten jiggies, well, that's the reason why. This guy's not hard to beat. Uh, all you have to do is. Um, First go up here, or you, I guess you could do it any order you uh, please, uh, but you could stand um, on those uh, orange platforms, and then he'll just throw the orange down, and then you should you know, leave before you get hit, and do it three times. This guy will give you the shooting eggs ability. I don't know what it's called. We're just shooting eggs. I believe you can shoot three eggs kind of quick at a time. So right here, I go and get hit by one of these oranges. And you want to stand there and not get hit. You actually want to move. So right when you hear that throwing, when, when you hear him throwing, you want to move, and he'll hit you. So that's how to do this, and this should give you another puzzle piece. Let's pick that up. And the next one from here, and the last and final uh, one from just this area here, not, not the whole map, but you know, just this little section. Now, it won't always be this easy. Uh, this one, you get you get three here, you get um, two up by Mama's Jumbo's place, and then you turn some, normally, um, Mama Jumbo, he just transforms you into some animal in the game. Or something, you know, this one you turn into an ant and we'll help you climb up. Um, certain areas, I guess. So there's number four. I, I don't know if in every world, but I know in the first few worlds that there's these the witch heads that you saw you stand on and I, you have to butt thump them. Um, they give you one added to the hub world, and not one actually in the game. I don't, I don't think, or to the um, the, the actual world. There's another easy one that you actually have to. Actually, there's two ways to get this one. If you didn't talk to the little mole on the the mound, uh, you could aim and you could slide down it, or you can do what I'm doing and walking around on the back of the bird. And I don't think, uh, in this, this world, you shouldn't have to leave to, um, go get more Mumbo Jumbo's tokens. They're all in the level. And, uh, I know the level I did, uh, after this, the second level, or so I believe it's the second level, um, or second world, rather, level, world, however, uh, over here there's another mound, 
okay, which will give you the butt thump, which is what you need to um, hit buttons and switches or whatever how you ever you want to pronounce it. But it's all the same at the end. There's another um, puzzle piece in his eyeball and Mumbo's hut in his his eye. Um, so after you get in talking to this guy, go around and there's a puzzle piece up there in the eye as you can see. A little difficult picking up these guys here. So in, in each world, you should only need to pick up probably 70 to 80, maybe even 90. Um, uh, music notes. Uh, I don't think you need to pick them all up, but the next spot to open will take 100 more or 150 more or something like that. Um, so watch out for that. It shouldn't be too hard to open your next scene. Just gather these things around. Th this game did a really good job of actually making you pick up things in the game. A lot of games nowadays, eh, you don't actually have to get them. Eh, you don't have to get this or whatever. But you do have to get the jiggies and you do have to get the music notes. You don't have to get the extra lives. You don't have to get the extra honeycomb piece things. Um, you have to get the jiggies and you have to get the things. Now on the second one, before you break this guy, jump on here, jump on there, on him, and uh, get the um, get the little honeycomb up there that I didn't realize that was up there. So I think second or it should be just the second guy you can't reach it now but i believe if you leave and come back you can get it by just you know making sure you get it on the second one the second head before you break the second head uh this is mumbo as you can see in the little square with his head there that's how many tokens you need um, you should only have to transform into him once. Some levels, it's a little different. Um, as you can see now, uh, if it wasn't inverted, uh, there's normally um, either eggs or music notes, or sometimes there's even a head up there, feathers, or, you know, there's something up there. So don't leave empty handed. I don't remember if you didn't, if you already changed. Um, so right now, let's see, where am I going? Oh, I'm going back to, uh, the Mambo's tokens. Mambo tokens, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, cause that, that one was actually back there. I only did some levels in this game. Uh, my mom normally played it and then I would play the levels after her or something or I would watch her play or something watch out for that guy so you can't actually walk up here as uh, banjo or the bird up to getting that uh, mumbo's head so that's all you can do in there now actually there's one thing I can do before I change into the ant um, so you should go do that instead of changing to the ant right now which which um let's see the last thing i could do as ma or uh, banjo is um is uh butt slam that uh that platform that which is head platform by the monkey or the gorilla, whatever you want to call it. Or actually, actually, if you got real tactical, it's whatever I guess primates were before they turned human. I guess that's the thing. If you believe in that one. So up here, there should be just a couple different layers. Um, 
the rest of the music notes I believe and this part here could be tricky as you can see I'm not sure exactly how you want to hit it but how I did it at the end is I think I scraped the wall and then jumped um, out a little bit I guess um, I fail a little bit here but it's all good See that that time I jumped towards the wall a little bit, and you want to kind of. Anytime I guess you're against the wall, it it slows you down. These guys will still hurt you, I believe. I don't think I get hit. And there's the last one. There's a hundred, so it's not that hard to do, but. I don't know, tedious a little bit. Get 100 in each one. Yeah, who wants to do that, right? I don't collect all the eggs because there's no need to collect eggs all the time. Just make sure you have a few. Careful getting that. There's an extra life. And there's your puzzle piece. Now, I believe at this point you could just jump off as I do so and survive. There's one thing I can get now or as Banjo. I don't think the bird can actually help you get this. Uh, so just time your jump and slide down there. Back there at the monkey or gorilla with boots and, you know, walks on his feet. I guess his hind legs, whatever. Uh, is a platform that I'm gonna go get after turning back into Banjo. I can't get it with this and then that would be the end of the world and then uh, and I believe we leave <laughs> but once you've turned into something in Mambo's hut you don't have to have the heads again to turn back or you know if I left the world on accident or something and um, and I needed to change back into the guy, I could just do so if I've already done and I've paid my dues. Here I am going towards the witch's face, I'm about to slam into the earth and she will give you a puzzle piece. Uh, uh, let's see, puzzle piece in the hub world, that's what I'm trying to say. That won't actually add on to this world. I believe I already got 10 puzzle pieces. Because I know when I go get this guy. Uh, and, and, uh, here's the reason why I think you need to hit that before you turn into the ant. Because that way you can just leave as the ant. Um, and you have the last thing. And I don't think the bird can actually run up there. So you actually need to be the ant to go with that. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure, but I go turn into the ant one more time, which takes a little time, but little biggies, go get it done, and leave. In this one, you can actually leave the world as the animal creature or whatever. Um, an ant's not an animal, I don't think, it's just a bug, pest, whatever. Um, but in the second one you actually have to go back and it's different mumbo in the second one is turning into mambo and you actually have to go to tent lady or whatever I don't know her name but I, I think as you can see it adds the second one to the hub world which actually adds total of how much you have but it will show of how much um, you, I guess, have an hub world versus an actual world. As you can see, Mumbo changes you once you get too far from the world. And they change that in the second one, as I've, as I've said. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, please like and comment on the video. Um, if you have something to say or whatever, need help. But well, this is State Campion playing some Banjo-Kazooie. And, uh...
I'll see you guys later and hope you have fun with the rest of your day. Goodbye. That sounds weird.